In this video, I'm going over why I hate free antivirus when it comes to Windows. So I've made a couple antivirus videos now, and I want to just kind of get some stuff out of the way because I've read the comments and some things I am just not telling you in its entirety. So I'm going to do my best to wrap up all those things that people wonder about antivirus and Windows. So first off, when it comes to just how do you prevent viruses, one, have good knowledge. If you're the type of person that clicks on every single ad that says free iPad or uh, you've won a trip to France, well, guess what? You're going to get infected. It doesn't matter what antivirus you have on there. It's eventually going to happen. Um, in my past video, I kind of said never get infected. And what I meant by that is if a system admin is controlling it from a proxy antivirus and then also having software installed on it, you're not even gonna be able to click that ad because guess what, you go to click it, it goes to download something and the proxy antivirus, before it even touches your computer, will filter it out. So that's what I meant by that. And uh, so general knowledge is very important. And then secondly, uh, a lot of people, if you're using Windows, sometimes you can get infected. There's back doors that exist, other things that have come to light when it comes to Windows. And if you're not patched and up to date, you're probably going to get infected even with an antivirus. Um, it's just one of those things. So make sure you're staying up to date on your security updates. Now, that does not mean feature updates. Many videos I've done says 1809 and 1903, the last two feature updates from Windows 10 dumpster fires. And I stand by that statement. And I am still not upgrading any business uh, computers from 1803 until Microsoft gets their act together. So I just want to preface this video and get those out of the way before we jump into the content. Now, as far as the content itself, why I hate free antivirus. Now, that's not what comes baked into Windows 10. Uh, Windows Defender is what comes baked into it. And I don't consider that free antivirus. I consider that integrated antivirus. And it does an okay job. Not great, not horrible. It's just kind of there to say, hey, there's an antivirus. And in my opinion, it's just as good as pretty much any free antivirus out there that you're going to install based on this upcoming criteria. And let me tell you what that is and why I hate it. So really, it boils down to long virus scans. It's just going to bloat up by scanning constantly you might be a little bit better protected, but not much. It's also going to try and upsell you to some internet security suite. A lot of these free antiviruses, they get all their money from upgrading their clients from the free version to a paid version. So there's nag screens, there's, hey, uh, save your passwords in here now, and uh, just a whole bunch of just crap. And in my opinion, is almost a virus in itself. You have browser add-ons that they like to tack into either Chrome or Edge, and these slow your computer down. You have password managers that are really, really bad because they basically lock you into their software, meaning, uh, you have to use the internet security suite forever if you use it as a password manager. Obviously, I highly recommend third-party tools like LastPass or KeyPass or you, you take your pick, but a password manager should be just that, a password manager, not a password manager and an antivirus. Uh, you shouldn't do bundled software like that. You also have hungry monitoring programs with a lot of these free antiviruses where it's constantly running and monitoring in the background. And why that may sound like a good idea, uh, a lot of times it's reporting back home saying, hey, this is what's going on with this computer. Or two, it's constantly downloading or scanning your PC, which again slows you down. Uh, these are all bad things. I don't really like the really process hungry antivirus, which most of these free ones are, if not all of them. And then before we move on to the next topic, multiple antivirus programs. Horrible, don't do it. If you're running a vast AVG, whatever it might be, whatever freeware antivirus you download from the net, and then you think, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and install McAfee on top of that. Or maybe Norton. Or maybe M Norton and McAfee 
come bundled with your system and you just don't take the time to uninstall them and then you just slap a vast and AVG on top of that. Can't tell you how many times I've seen this. It makes me rage each time. It's like your computer would be better off with a virus at this point because multiple antivirus programs are just bad on so many levels. Don't ever, ever do that because you're just killing yourself. You're making your computer run like crap. Now, as far as paid ones, I've kind of talked about that. My personal preference was Webroot Secure Anywhere. And I got a little flack from that. Check out this comment from Brytech. He's another YouTuber that has like 300 something subs. And he's like, hey, there's low detection rates compared to other antivirus. And that's not wrong. I mean, there it is a little lower. I think the article he linked was a little cherry picked, but it is not the absolute highest rate of detection out there. But it is extremely good. And why I choose it is because of its low profile. I don't even know it's running. I have to check my task tray just to see if the little icon's there. And when I install it across a small business per se, most people don't even know I've deployed it. And they don't even know it's there until they go to download something and then it blocks them because it's a virus. So I've had that happen more times than I can count. In the past three years, I've probably gotten somewhere around uh, 30 to 40 alerts of a person downloading a virus uh, from the web and usually they contact me via email and say hey Titus I got a virus and I'm like no you didn't I actually saw it pop up on my screen as you downloaded it, it deleted it before you got a chance to run and as far as actual infections during the past several years I haven't got any in this now knock on wood it still can happen on any antivirus uh, but it's still a very good one. It's a low profile and it runs almost uh, without you know it. So that's why I choose it. And its scans are very, very uh, light. It, it's uh, probably the lightest weight antivirus out on the market. And that's why I choose it. Now, other people in comments said they like Kaspersky, Sophos, ESET, which is also known as Nod32. Um, these are all really good paid ones as well. I think they're a little heavier, a little more intrusive, but they also do a better job of protection. Uh, so there is that. So that's the trade-off you have, and that trade-off exists everywhere in IT. You have convenience and you have security, and there's a good middle ground somewhere between the two. Don't always just skew for convenience because that means your computer's wide open and pretty much anybody can get into it. But at the same token, don't always just skew heavily into the security realm because you're just going to be gimping yourself in productivity. So there's a good middle ground everywhere in IT, and that's what I really want to get to. And that's why I make YouTube videos just to say, hey, it's not always black and white. Uh, there's a good middle ground that you achieve. And I don't think I really laid that out in past videos, and that's what this video is doing, is just saying, hey, it's not always about the detection rates. It's not always about uh, convenience either. It's a, a balancing act, and one you have to do for your system because installing any antivirus program will slow your system down a little bit, no matter what it is. It's just some are more than others. And when it comes to the freeware versions, it's just bad across the board. And you're really not getting much more protection than what Windows Defender gets you, so stop doing it. And as far as antivirus, I completely avoid like the plague, uh, Norton, McAfee, Avast, and AVG. Those four, probably the four most popular antivirus on the market, uh, I absolutely don't like. I hate. I've used them many times in the past, and I just dislike these products for a whole variety of reasons, which I'm not going to get into in this video. Uh, that is just my opinion, though. I know there's people watching that, that use these antiviruses and probably like them to some extent. But I have a hunch you haven't tried the ones I laid out because uh, if you did, you probably wouldn't be using any of those because those are just, yeah, bad. And that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know your comments down below. I think I'm going to get roasted on this one, but I had to come out and do it because uh, these things just bother me to no end. 
And with that said, if you want to get all my videos, make sure to click the bell icon because just subscribing in YouTube land doesn't really do anything other than add me in the left-hand side of your YouTube. And a big shout out to my patrons. Without you, this video would not be possible. And I'll see you in the next one.